everybody. We're vlogging from the van again. We're on the way back from a, an amazing dive at Little River, and I'm with Zach Whalen, our new cameraman. Todd should be with us, but we had to drop him off at a work-related event, so he's not here. It's good that he's not here because we're gonna make fun of him, right? I mean, that's what you well, do. Yes. So we went to Little River because our friend Becky Kagenshot, who's a, a Florida cave diver aficionado, she told us that this is a great cave, you're gonna love it. And the goal was, Todd and I haven't been cave diving in almost a year, and we needed to get used to our side mount stuff, and we wanted to do like a practice dive. This cave is known to have a lot of water flow, and so it would be a little bit of a challenge, and we'd be able to work on our skills. So we went on over there, but, oh, you gotta tell them about Todd's cave reel thing that morning. Oh yeah, so we filmed our brand new segment, Tech with Todd. Yeah. So Todd's gonna be killing more in-depth knowledge about our technical gear and what we do, how we use it. So we did a whole piece on reels. And they're a really important piece of cave gear. You've got reels for jumping, you're laying a line into the cave. We wanna make sure we can get back out if all our lights died. So we just done this whole segment about reels, taught him a brand new reel he showed off in this video. He wanted to make sure we practice using it in the cave. But as the divers watching this know, new pieces of gear rarely work out the way you think the first time. So we did the dive, it was a great dive. Todd had put used his new reel to lay the line down into the cave and we were all excited about his super cool new reel, but then... So I was the last man out, trying to get these nice, beautiful, wide shots of everybody, and all of a sudden, there's this orange line in my shot. Floating. It's just floating there. So I thought maybe just to get a little extra line, you know, it happens sometimes, and I try to push it out of my shot. I'm trying to get my shot, and there's just more and more line it's coming into my, my shot. And before you know it, there's a bird's nest, a bright orange line streaming out of back of Todd. What exactly happened? Did the thing come unlocked? It didn't lock it. So yeah. it's one of the things that happens in a cave. If you don't lock that reel down, there's a little stopper on the end that keeps the line from going all the way up. And that little stopper starts floating away. He ended up completely tangled <laughs> in this line. And after we were done laughing at him, we helped him. We helped him clean yeah, it all up like him. out of the cave. Yeah. Yeah, that was exciting. But the dive was great. That was super awesome. That little it, river was Except for the beautiful. lack of flow. Yeah, well, that's the funny thing. So we went there because it was supposed to be flowing, and um, it wasn't, which no. I guess made our lives really easy. Yeah. I mean, Especially, it was flowing a little. A little bit, but, but it wasn't really a strong flow. Most cave divers don't complain about that. No. That's, no you know, you normally, you don't complain about a nice, easy dive. So we had, we were blessed with nice, easy dives, so we can't complain. And we, we did, of course, you've seen the episode by now because you're watching the vlog, so you know we did find the crayfish. We found the crayfish, we found a little freshwater flounder. Yeah, Zach found a beautiful little guy about yay big. Little yep. I've never seen a freshwater flounder. I've only seen them in the springs of Florida. They never get any bigger than that, they're like that big. Just little guys. Little guys just hang out. He's a floor. macro lens for Yep. Gives you something to do when you're sitting in the spring. Yep. Doing deco. Long deco stops, you find all the little cool little fairs. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching our vlog. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time in the blue world.